before we come to a synthesis, I want to do a double click on how a strong LST adds value to Ethereum. And the main, I mean, there are multiple lenses through this, but the one I want to focus on is jurisdictional dispersion. So almost 20% of light owned, operate, owned operators are um, domiciled in APAC countries. That's sort of Hong Kong, Singapore, Australia, South Korea. Um, and while Europe compromises nearly 60% of the 60% of the total, two thirds of these are actually non-EU, right? So this includes countries like BVI, Cayman Islands, etc. So 60% in total, we have 60% non-EU and non-US nodes, which is a Brazilian distribution, especially compared to an Ethereum without Lido. If you look at uh, sort of a, a distribution of Ethereum nodes, you see a real concentration in the US and Europe, especially the EU. Um, sort of according to EFA nodes, like more than 66% of Ethereum nodes are based in either the EUS or the EU. So that's significantly worse than Lido and very prone to geopolitical uh, censorship. 